Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be installing my new double din. It's right here in this box. Um, just have a simple do-it-yourself wiring harness. Uh, this little plate bracket thing that goes right here. And then these just hold it in and then everything else is in here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did change the channel name to Egbert320 rather than Desert Valley Productions. Um, if you watched my introduction video that I made a while ago, I put in there that Desert Valley Productions was actually supposed to be for two different people. It was supposed to be two people starting up a channel together, but it actually turns out it's just going to be me, so I wanted to make it more personalized, more like it, more of what I do, not want to get into more of the type, like, more personal type stuff. Obviously, daily vlogging would be awesome if I could get that much content, but uh, eventually I want to do more vlogging type stuff, more personalized type stuff, kind of like the other YouTubers are doing, you know, uh, Adam LZ or TJ Hunt or Evan Shanks or whatever, whoever you like, people like that, uh, Street Speed 717 but uh, yeah, I want to get more personalized type stuff like that rather than just just cars, like I want to do cars but I want to sh show like me working on cars, stuff stuff like that, so that is why I changed the channel name to Acre 320 instead of uh, Desert Valley Production. Alright, so we've pretty much got everything done. We just got all these clips out, and now we're just... And my camera died. But it is in now. But I'm going to actually be pulling it back out today because I have a different wiring harness that's supposed to be better. It uses like the factory Bose system, so it's going to make it sound a lot better. I do love the new stereo though. It's really nice. Go through all this fun stuff again. I'm glad I have a basic understanding of how all this works now. But you just pop all this off, and there's gonna be some, gonna be two clips back here. One here and one down here. Disconnected those. And then the next thing you have to do is get this out, which I'm gonna go get a screwdriver real quick for those. Ooh, that one's loose anyways. In here, there's some more screws as well. Let me get this stuff out of here. My little toy. And then, my Cars Infinite cards that I keep. And then there should be like a little rubber mat in here you just pull out. Let's see, there we go. Just like that. And then these little things, you just pull back on them. Just from the top, pull back. And then that should be good. And then inside there, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a screw inside there. And you also have to do under these ones here and then the ones next to it there as well. You have to do both of those. That'll pull out this. Once, yeah, once you get those screws, you just pull up on this bottom piece and you slowly work your way up to the top. If you need to, do use uh, some plastic pry tools and whatnot. Now, once, once you pull off that, Make sure you undo this plug here that's for your gauges up top. Make sure you unplug that. That's going to be the one thing holding it back. Now we're down to just the radio and the uh, body control module. So now you can just start pulling this stuff out. All right, and this is what the wiring looks like on the back end. We taped it all here, but I'm just going to undo these two here so that I can just get this radio out of here. Since this kit doesn't come with the ground, you have to buy one on your own. I did ground it up here behind this as well. All right, so now I have my radio down here on the ground. The only thing that's connected to it is these two, uh, oh, I pushed them in there on accident. It's, uh, 
just two USB cables for if I ever need to like update the firmware or whatever, or if I want to plug in a phone or something, I'll always have them here. I've been thinking about wiring the USB cable through under here and somehow into here somewhere. That'd be pretty cool to have it in there just in case I want to do like an aux cord or something like that. All right, and here's the new harness. I'm just going to lay everything out and see how it's all going to work. But uh, the reason why I'm using this, I'll let uh, Anthony J350 explain. On the bench, we have three examples of how you would wire up a Nissan. Yes, there are several ways to do it. Over here's the first way. Because we're dealing with enthusiasts, we're just going to use a regular Nissan adapter, and then we're going to power it up through the head unit. Very simple. Now, if you have the Bose system, there are two ways you can do it. You can do it with this harness over here. It is cheaper. However, if you have a head unit that has very low voltage pre-outs, you might induce noise through the system because this doesn't do anything to help filter the noise. What we prefer to do is if you have the Bose system is to actually speaker level it in so you're sending in a high level signal and then this, will, this piece here from PAC will lower the signal, sent, will lower the signal level. That way the Bose system can re-amplify it. All right, so on this thing, it's just a straight up clip up to two of these things. You won't need these other two. I don't know what they're honestly for, but you won't need those. So you can just throw those down below. But yeah, these are here. And then it'll go run through this little thing. I don't even know what this thing does, to be honest. Like I said, I'm gonna let him explain that because he knows it way better than me. But, uh, and then I just need to wire up these. This is the harness that I had with my old one. So all I'm gonna do is just find each wire. It's like playing color match you just find the wire and I'm just gonna cut it right before and then just wire it into the new one I'm just gonna match each color with each type of wire that's over here shout out to Cody for letting me use these I'll go buy you some more and shout out to Daniel for letting me use your tools all the time Daniel's uh, one of our uh, mechanics here at the dealership one that I definitely need to pay attention to is my amp wire because it's orange on this side, but it's actually going to go to a blue. So I need to make sure I get this one. I'm going to do this one first, just so I can get it out of the way. Just did my new amp wire. So I got one down, and I got a lot more to go. Alright, so this one that comes with this, they come pre-cut uh, for you. Let me try to get this off. There we go. But if you notice, they're really, really long, so I would cut off the top. See, I just cut a bit of it off at the top just to make it so it's not so long because it's not going to fit into these if you make it super long. There'll be a lot hanging out of, ex of exposed and you'll have to tape off a lot of stuff. I wish I could film this process, but I don't know if I can get my camera in the right spot. Um, I'll try to figure it out. I just got all this wired up. I do have some extra wires. I believe they don't go to anything that I'm going to need. I wired up everything that I had wired up previously with the old harness. Um, this is the ground wire. I actually don't need this one because I had to do this one with the old one. So that's just going to bypass this thing, but I think that's fine. It's still going to have ground. It's still going to be fine. But yeah, so I don't think I'm going to use this one. And then I don't know what these other ones go to. I didn't get any instruction with this thing right here. I could probably look it up online and figure it out, but I'm just going to test it with my radio real quick before I put everything back together, before I tape anything off. I'm just going to test it, and if it works, then it works. Got stereo, it's wired up. Let's see if it'll turn on. Hey, we got power. Let's see if we got sound and stuff. I was going to do... Oh, uh, since I don't have this connected to that, it's going to be on full blast right now. So just, just hold on with that for a minute. Okay, so we got the radio right here. No, go away. I was going to do steering wheel controls, but I actually want to get a new steering wheel anyways, so I won't be doing that. It was like 60 bucks for this little thing, and uh, it wasn't the easiest thing to wire up, and I am not an expert. And we have sound, so I'm going to start putting everything back together.
stereo is finally back in. There's those two screws there, and there's one up here. And then I got my GPS antenna, which I'm gonna mount right up here, right up top, so it kind of looks, hopefully it's gonna look pretty factory look. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to get this in with the new harness. It sounds a lot better with the new harness, by the way. That's why I put it in. Uh, before, it had this really staticky sound, especially when you had it on lower volume. You could definitely hear it. The quality now is just so much better than it was before, so I'm really happy with that. And it was like 35 bucks, I think, online. I think that's all it was. It was pretty cheap. It wasn't that bad. The first one that I had, this one down here, this one was only like 7 bucks. I just went and bought this at Best Buy just to get it going. But... Yeah, I got the other harness. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, tomorrow, I am going to a uh, the Fast... Is it Fast 8? The Fate of the Furious, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to that premiere. It's going to be at a drive-in, so that's pretty cool. Um, the people here in town are going to do like a little pre-meet. Like, we're all going to meet up at a, a place, and then we're going to drive... We're going to cruise over there together, go watch the movie. I'm honestly not even that excited for the movie itself. I like, understand it, but... I still want to go see it just to see what it's like, and I'm more excited for the whole pre-meet thing and then cruising over there together, but you guys will have a video for that tomorrow as well. I don't know if it'll be out tomorrow, but that's when I'm going, but yeah, you guys will definitely see that video soon, so uh, peace out. and hope. I really need to come up with some kind of like outro, like you know, TJ Hunt does the peace out, keep moving forward, Evan Shanks is the, I think it's peace out, be victorious or something, I don't know, I don't remember what Adam LZ does. Does Adam, oh, he usually makes his girlfriend do like an outro. That's right. But anyways, hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for that Fast and Furious thing. I'll also give like a quick review on what I think about it. I'm pretty sure I know what to expect, but I don't know. We'll see what it's like. And I'm kind of excited to see what the Dodge Demon looks like in the movie. Like, I don't know. We'll see you tomorrow, guys.